<laughs> Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started. <laughs> Amen. Well, I got one cheerleader. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. I guess like we had a little bad connection there for a minute. But anyway, let's get it started. Amen. Welcome back. <laughs> Praise God. All right. Hey, glory to God. Amen. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. What's good there, Sunset Lily? Yolanda. Amen. Get it out there. I tell you, I'll get it out there one day. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for popping in. Amen. All right. What's going on there, EW3? What's good? God bless you. Amen. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate your faithfulness, man. You're a good man. You're a good man. Appreciate your love for me. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Good morning there, Pastor Shepherd. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started. Amen. Um, I noticed that, you know, I had a little problem with my connection this morning. Like it was kind of doing what it wanted to do. But uh, glory to God. We all up in this. Amen. Mr. Calvin Craig. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, my father. <laughs> Amen. Good morning, Dad. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Amen. Um, Amen. My other father, Mr. William Parker. Amen. God bless you, sir. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Amen. Um, amen. Uh, Scotty Moe, my battle buddy. Basic training. Amen. To life. Amen. Appreciate you, great man. Thanks for popping in. All right. Amen. So it's about that time. We're going to go ahead and get ready to jump in today. Uh, for those that don't know, this is Apostle Chauncey Craig of Discipling Ministries, the place where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people, as you see in the back. Glory to God. Amen. And so, amen. I don't know why. I feel a little silly today, but amen. We're going to keep it moving. Amen. So y'all, hey, be, be patient with me. Amen. God bless your mom. Amen. My mommy. By Pastor Ann Fleming, God bless you. Um, so uh, again, we're ready to jump in, to launch, and uh, just appreciate each of you uh, taking the time to be with us. And uh, I'm hopeful uh, at the end, there is something about the word today that, that you'll be able to receive, to process, to chop it up, um, and, 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 and allow it to, to do something uh, in your life. Amen. Uh, because there is no word given uh, that's meant to just be tossed aside. Amen. But the word is given that we may uh, receive it. Amen. Uh, 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 to, to, you know, uh, God, I, I thank you uh, for the word of God. I thank you uh, that you cared enough to speak it to me. And so therefore we digest it and we process it and we allow it to become a part of us. Uh, I used to say almost like cholesterol because the cholesterol get caught up in you. Amen. <laughs> and it's stuck there. And so, uh, but you know, I guess I can still use that because they say there's good cholesterol and there's bad cholesterol. So I'm gonna say it gets stuck in us like good cholesterol. Amen. It becomes a part of us. So uh anyway, uh I believe there is a word from the Lord on today, 
And I'm grateful to be in your hearing and being able to share it. Amen. God bless your pops. Amen. Uh, Mr. Eugene Fleming. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Uh, appreciate you being with us this morning. So everybody ready for the word? Amen. Uh, we're going to John chapter 14. John chapter 14. Once again, John chapter 14. Amen. Uh, and this ain't shouting John, the one that hold my mule. <laughs> this is Sean. Amen. Glory to God. Uh, the apostle John. Amen. So let's go to John. John 14. And so I hope that we, we were able to get something out of the last couple of weeks as we talked about the, the, uh, the, the cost of the coat. Amen. And uh, even before that, you know, teach and test me. Amen. Consider what I say, I think was before that. Um, and uh, some uh, 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 born again, again, I think was before that. Amen. I, I think that's right. But even if I miss something, it's all good. And for those that don't know, these messages are located on YouTube. Just look up my name, Chauncey Craig, and you'll find them on YouTube or um, on Facebook. All right. So let's jump in. John chapter 14. John chapter 14. If I missed anybody, please forgive me. Amen. I look up. I try to acknowledge everyone that comes in. Uh, but again, if I miss someone, uh, it wasn't intentional. John chapter 14. Everybody there. Amen. Everybody there. John chapter 14. We're going to we're going to start at the 15th verse. The 15th verse. John 14, beginning at the 15th verse. It says this, If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. The Spirit of Truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. Glory to God. Amen. And so I read to us John the 14th chapter verses 15 through 18. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, my apostle, amen, the apostle Latanya Moore, God bless you. Amen. Thank you for popping in. Glory to God. Amen. General. Amen. All right. Uh, and so with that in mind, amen, John 14, amen, verses 15 through 18. And so the title that I believe God has uh, allowed me to, 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 to give this, amen, uh, is to say, think on this. Think on this. Once again, think on this. Simple, simple words. Think on this, but so powerful. Amen. Because even as I started off this morning, I was saying that oftentimes there's a word and sometimes we make real word and the word may be good for a minute. We'd be like, man, that was good. Thank you. Amen. But then two, two days later or a week later, amen, we kind of forgot about it or whatever. Amen. But there's some stuff, amen, when it comes to the word of God that we need to be thinking on. Amen. In other words, it needs to, as I said, be a part of us like good cholesterol. Amen. And so, again, think on this. Think on this. Think on this and so as we read it you may have thought well that's not much to think on that's a give me amen but i'm hopeful that by the end of this amen there will be something said that would a, a, a challenge the way we think amen in other words we'll begin to think on the word of god amen not it's just something i read uh i saw that before uh i heard someone else uh mention this but Think on this. 
Glory to God. Think on this. Think on this. Think on this. And so again, I want to read it one more time. Amen. And then we're going to launch in. Amen. It says, if you love me, keep my commandments and I will pray the father and he will give you another helper that he may abide with you forever. The spirit of truth whom the Lord can, uh, uh, the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. Hallelujah. Amen. That's exciting news. And so when we begin to look at this thing in John, I want us to understand that Jesus had some followings. Amen. And so some followers, amen, and, and, and some people following him. What we find is that we begin to call them disciples and later on, you know, the apostles and, and all this other stuff. But we know that he had some people following him. Him. And so we know that he had his inner circle, amen, or as we say, his 12. And, and when you begin to read up, leading up to this particular chapter, we find where Jesus literally began to wash their feet. <laughs> amen. He began to wash their feet. He began to show them love and, and, and all this other stuff. Good morning, Uncle Bobby. Amen. Thanks for joining in. Hallelujah. But Jesus was, he, he was demonstrating his love to his disciples and he was teaching them. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. And so you say, well, what, what does that have to do with anything? The thing that I'm telling us is this is a continuation, amen, of him showing and talking about this thing called love. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, again, he's already demonstrated. He's showing them how to love. Glory to God. And so as we proceed through, amen, we know that he also begins to tell them that, hey, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, and how, and how he begins to express to them who he is, and, and, and even in doing so, about his love. Hallelujah. Amen. Love, 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 love. Glory to God. Amen. Good morning, X. Amen. God bless you, brother. God bless you. And so here we are. Let's, let's, so let's look at this from that standpoint that he's chopping it up with his disciples and he's telling them about love. He's telling them about what, what it really means to love, about what it really means for him to be on their team. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's, let's look at John. John, beginning at verse 15. Amen. I done read it twice. Amen. And now we're getting ready to get into this thing. Think on this. Think on this. He begins 15. He says, if. Now, I don't know about you, but that's a bad way, amen. That's a harsh way to start something. Well, if, amen, because the hope is that everybody would already be on board and everybody would all, and because you already think, hey, I may have some influence with you and we already, but if, and so, so, so it lets us know, okay, okay, there's some conditions attached. That's what if says, if, Amen. And so Jesus starts this, and if, for those that have red letter uh, uh, Bibles, amen, you know that this is the, 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 the sayings of Jesus as John records them. It says, if you love me, <laughs> amen, I don't know if anybody ever been in love or whatever, uh, uh, you got a boyfriend, a girlfriend, amen, a husband or a wife, but sometimes you be like, if you love me. Amen. Especially when we, when, 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 I'm just gonna say, I mean, when you when you're acting crazy and you're doing and and you and, and you just your wife and, or your spouse, if you love me, you wouldn't do that. If you love me, you would do this. If you love me, you, <laughs> Amen. And so Jesus is saying the same thing because remember, he's among them, he's right there with them, and so he's saying, if. You love me now. You've been following me. You've been walking with me. You've been talking with me. You've seen the miracles that's been wrought. You've seen what I've done. You've seen how I show love. You, you see. But if you love me, come on, somebody. And so he's talking to the ones that are with him now. And and so it, what what is what is telling us is that even in the church, Amen. That there may be some people that that's a part of our ministry and people that 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 say that I'm on the road and that I'm with you. And I'm telling you, there are some people that that go to other churches that that really know that they're supposed to be. <laughs> well, okay, but he said, but if you love me, if you love me now, he says, keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. And so, uh, again, if you love me. And so if we're not keeping his commandments, that means we don't, we don't love him. Yes. Glory to God. And I know this is a hard, a hard thing, you know, for some, amen, because we like, man, I got that. That's, that's, that's too easy, man. This, what, what are you talking about? This, and so think on this. 
Think on this now. Think on it. Just process it. Process it. Think, 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 think on it. And matter of fact, let me say this. There's a thing in the world, around the world, we say there's a, there, there's a word called intra. Amen. And then there's a word inter. Amen. Like internet or intranet. Okay. So everybody knows internet. Everybody got access to it. Amen. If they got, if they got, if they got, if they got uh, uh, capabilities, amen, you got access to the internet. All right. Why? Because it's internet. And so everything is tied together. Everybody, all the different relationships, this, this, this one connects to that one and whatever you want to get access to, you got access to because it's out there. As long as it ain't secure or, or, or encrypted, whatever, you got access to it. Why? Internet. But intra, intra means that it's only for the group of people that it's tied to. In other words, it's more a uh, 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 personal. Okay, let me let me let me let me let me let me bring that a little closer to home. What I'm telling us is we need, when I, when I say think on this, it's intra personal. If I say interpersonal, it's talking about the relationships that that we're in and all the other stuff and the people around us and whatever. If I say interpersonal, but when I say intrapersonal, I'm talking about us. Intra, amen. We need to think about this. We need. It's talking about your thinking. The way you process, the way, and so it's for me too, amen, the way I think, the way we need to, and intra, and so today when I'm talking about think on this, I'm talking about some intra personal, you think on this, me think on this, don't be thinking on this and being looking over there, looking, at, no, 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 intra personal, glory to God, amen, and so, and so, 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 so listen, he says, if you, look, let me see, intra, he's talking about you, <laughs> Amen. He ain't saying you to your neighbor. He ain't saying you to the to the lady down the street. He said, but if you love me, amen. Talking to his disciples, if you love me, come on, anybody love the Lord today? And so it's intra, it's personal. Amen. It's for us to process. Do I love God? Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. He said, so if you love me, if you keep my commandments. And so when we hear the word commandments, uh, most of us automatically, our mind begins to drift to this thing that, that, that we call the Ten Commandments. Amen. But I want us to understand that commandments is nothing more than orders, instructions. Amen. And so we know the Bible is full of orders, uh, 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 instructions, some, 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 some rules. Amen. Some super rules. <laughs> amen. And, some other. and so he's saying, keep my word. Glory to God. He said, if you love me, keep my word, keep my commandments. Why? Because we understand even when it comes to the Ten Commandments, or as we like to say, the law, amen, that he says that I, that I, that I came to fulfill the law. Amen. I didn't come to do away with it. I came to fulfill it. Amen. But he says, but even more than that, I give you a new command. You know, amen. Love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, all your, you know, your, your, all that. And then he says, hey, and love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> Amen. He said, so a new commandment I'm giving. And so again, he said, I'm gonna do away, but but he said, I'm gonna give you some new orders. I'm gonna give you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you some new instructions. Amen. He said uh, that uh, a new commandment. And so he didn't say I'm gonna take away from the other, but I am the fulfillment of the others. But do this. Here's the here, here's the new. But new didn't say he didn't say the new overwrites the old. He just said do the new, include the new, <laughs> do this. All right. And so he said love. And again, so so here he is with this emphasis on love, but he, but he says, but he makes it personal. He says, if you love me, <laughs> keep my instructions, keep the word of God. Come on, somebody say, think on this. Think on this. Amen. Process this. Process it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Hallelujah. Amen. Keep my instructions. Keep my instructions. Keep my orders. Keep the word of God. Keep it. Keep it hid in your heart. Yeah, yeah, your word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. Yeah, and, and, uh, again, I, why? Because I'm thinking on this thing. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Let's look at 16. So he starts by saying, if you love me, keep my commandments. And then there's a period. And then we pick up in what we call uh, 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 the 16th verse. And so the result of the 15th verse is 
the 16th verse. <laughs> Are we understanding? So he says this once again, if you love me, keep my commandments, period. And 16, I will pray the father. <laughs> so if you love me, keep my commandments and I will pray the father. And so for many, we'd be like, okay, well, what, what does that mean? I will pray the Father. So what he's saying is this. He said, again, okay, if you love me, keep my instruction, keep my order doing. He said, and I will pray the Father. In other words, I will mediate for you. <laughs> I will pray the Father. I, I'm going to be, listen, he says, if you love me, you will do what I tell you to do. And while you're doing what I told you to do, guess what? I'm going to be mediating, talking to the Father on your behalf. <laughs> Amen. I'm going to be standing in the gap because we like to say Jesus is in the gap. And so this is what the word is telling us is that, hey, when we keep the commands of the Lord, when we love the Lord, amen, amen, when we love him, when we genuinely love him, we'll keep his commandments. And guess what his commandments tell us? His commandments tell us, amen, to love our neighbors. <laughs> Amen. And so if I'm loving my neighbor, listen, the word of God tells us to love your neighbor as yourself. And some would say, well, I got to begin to love myself before I can love my neighbor. That's not the word of God. That's not what it's saying. It ain't saying you got to love yourself before you love your neighbor. It say love your neighbor as yourself. In other words, what it's telling us is that you need to have more concern about your neighbor, amen, or, or lend your neighbor uh, uh, as much concern as you have for yourself. Because if you think you got to get yourself together, that means you already got some concern for yourself. And so therefore, you need to have some concern for your neighbor. Come on, somebody. But why? Because we like to think ourselves first. Amen. But it's not about you. In other words, listen, listen, I'm going to say it again. Now, listen to what he said. If you love me, keep my commandments. And so he's saying, I'm showing you how to love. I'm showing you how to love. Remember, I just washed your feet. Amen. I just fed you. I just showed you some stuff. I just showed you what it means to love. I just showed you. I just, I just, I, and so, so if, and so if, 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 I've showed you, I've demonstrated what love is. And so if you love the way I gave myself to you and serve you, Amen. Uh, I give you a new command. And so I want you to be serving others like I serve you. Keep my commandments. Glory to God. And so it goes on to say, and I, listen, will pray the Father. And so when you're doing what I told you to do, when you're loving your neighbor as yourself, amen, when you're loving the Lord with everything that's in you, when we're keeping the orders of God, he says, I'm mediating. I'm, I'm, listen, he said, I will pray the Father. He didn't say, I'm going to pray to the Father. I'm going to pray for the Father. I'm gonna, he said, I pray the Father. And so, when he, again, I mediate. And so, and, and so but, but hallelujah. The thing I'm trying to tell us is this, is that he and the Father are, <laughs> amen. He said, I don't say what I want to say. I say what the Father would have. Come on, think on this. I don't say what I want to say. I say what the Father would have me to say. And so what he's saying is, if I pray the Father, you can know that it's done. Come on, somebody. I'm mediating. I pray I pray the Father. Amen. He going to say, I pray the Father do it for you. I, I pray that God will. That's the way we pray. That ain't what he said. I pray that God release this over you. I pray that God will do. No, 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 no. That ain't what he's saying. I pray the Father. And if I pray, it, it is so. Why? Because I ain't praying what I want to pray. I ain't praying. Come on, think on this. Glory to God, somebody. I hope this is good to y'all as, as it is to me. Amen. But he says, think on this. Come on. Intro. Personal. Let's, let's make it intro. Come on. We got to think on this. Each one of us, as individuals, we have to think on this. It's important that we think on this. Amen. Yeah, the body of Christ, we can talk about that. But no, for you and for me, we have to process this. He says, and I will pray the Father. So another, again, he will mediate. And he says, and he will give you another helper. And so for some that may read it, they'd be like, well, you said he said it's already going to be. So why he said that he prayed, that he praying that he going to give you something. Notice the wording. Hey, Amen. I need us to catch this again. Think on this. Process this. Listen to what he's saying. And I will pray the Father, and He will get. <laughs> In other words, it's gonna happen, y'all. He will give. 
Why? Because I said it. <laughs> but for this is this is for those that love me and keep in my commandments. These are the, this is for those that love me and loving their neighbor. And this is for the Baptist that's loving the Church of God. This is for the Church of God that's loving the Methodist. This is for the Methodist that, that's loving the AME. <laughs> Amen. This is for the AME that's loving the Catholic. Amen. This, come on, somebody. Amen. This is for the black loving the white and the white loving the black. Amen. And everybody loving the brown and the brown loving everybody. Are we hearing this today? Come on. Think on this. Think on this. Think on this. And so I will pray the Father. And he will give. I ain't asking them to give. He will give. I ain't petitioning him to give. He will give. Why? Because me and the Father are one. Glory to God. Everybody understanding this thing today. Hallelujah. Come on, think on this. He says, and he will give you, amen, another helper. Jesus. Come on, somebody say multiplication. <laughs> Come on, devil for your trouble. <laughs> Amen. Come on, we, you know, we talk about Elijah. We like to say a devil portion. Amen. But if he says another helper, Jesus is telling them, because remember, he's already telling them that he's going to be that, what's going to happen to him, that he's going to be crucified, he's going to leave it. He, all that stuff has already been established. And he said, hey, I'm telling you, if you do this, you do that, you do that, and because I'm leaving, you're going to have another Helper. Another helper. So everybody read that. And y'all know I'm reading from the New King James. And so for those out there that may be reading with me, amen, in the in, in, in the King James, amen, that word is, is comforter. Amen. Comforter, comforter, comforter. And so when you look up the word comforter, amen, a word for comforter is strength. <laughs> Hallelujah. And so we know that these words are synonymous with each other. So what do we have? We have helper. We have comforter. And we have strength. And so what, so what is Jesus saying? Now check it out. Now let's, let's put it in perspective. He says, and I will pay the Father and he will give you another helper. He will give you another comforter. He will give you another strength. And so if he's giving you another one, he's telling him that, hey, for you right now, I am your helper. I am your comforter. I am your strength. Glory to God, somebody. And that's why we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Come on, think on this. Glory to God. Are we hearing this thing today? Because he said, hey, I'm here with you now. Y'all see me. I'm, I'm right here. I'm, I'm with you. And he said, but, 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 but when I pray the Father, he's going to send you another helper. Come on. Somebody say another one. Amen. I'm going to say he's going to send you another helper. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Think on this. And look what he says after that. That he, capital he, may abide with you forever. The reason why this is so significant, the reason why this is so significant is that Jesus is with them right now. Remember, he's teaching them. He's talking to them. He's showing them that, hey, this, 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 this is, this is what happened. This, this is what happened. But how can I say this? He says that he, he goes, send you another helper that he may abide with you forever. So what Jesus is saying is that, listen, I'm not going to be with you forever. Not the way you see me right now. <laughs> I'm not going to be with you forever. The way I'm coming at you right now, the way I'm, I'm doing what I do and, and flowing with you, he said, I'm not going to be with you forever. Not, not like this. In other words, I'm not going to always sit, be, be, be sitting here as Mary's baby. <laughs> Amen. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna always be sitting here as James's brother. Amen. I'm not gonna always be sitting here as what you say, rabbi or teacher. Amen. And so he's. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna always be here with you like this. Glory to God. But listen, listen now. So I need to, as, as we process this, and remember, intrapersonal. As, as we think on this, Amen. God bless you, Serena. Hallelujah. Amen. He says this. That he may abide with you forever. 
And so I ain't going to be with you forever, but the one that the father, the, 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 the another helper, he's going to be with you forever. Glory to God. And somebody say, okay, apostle, help me understand that. What, what you really trying to say? I'm trying to tell us, amen, that for those that keep his commandments, for those that do what he, what, what he say do, okay, he's going he's gonna to pray the father, amen, and the father's going to send the helper that will be with you forever. That'll be with me forever. Amen. But if I ain't doing what I'm supposed to do, amen, I may have once been walking in the Holy Ghost. Amen. <laughs> amen. I may have once been walking with the helper on my side. I may have once been walking with strength on my team. Amen. But 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 if I'm not keeping the commandments of God, amen. Many would say, well, he ain't not, he's not, he's he, he don't he don't give and take away. He don't give and take. But we walk away. And because we walk away. Is saying that hey, uh, maybe he ain't with you forever. And again, I know that's hard for some to swallow, but I'm gonna show you. Listen to this. He says that he may abide with you forever. That word abide means to dwell. Okay, that he may dwell with you forever, 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 forever. Listen, that he may dwell with you forever. And so when we listen to this again, he says he's going to send you another helper. Now this is Jesus talking. Now he's talking in first person, right? He's talking in first person, but he says that, that, that he will send you another helper. So it sounds like he's talking about somebody else. And then he goes on to say, and he will abide with you forever. And so he's talking to, he's talking about something that is to come. Again, another he. Alright? He's talking about a person. Amen? Glory to God. Come on, think on this. Think on this now. Think on this. He says, that he may abide with you forever. Glory to God. Amen. Okay, let's think on that. So we're we building up. We're building up. We're building up. Amen. Verse 17 says this. The spirit of truth. Whose spirit of truth? Is he. Is the another helper. Amen. All right. He says, so uh, the spirit of truth. Whom the world cannot receive. Because it neither sees him nor knows him but you know him for he dwells with you and will be in you my god so let's 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 begin to look at that again the spirit of truth who he <laughs> amen the one that's gonna come and be with you amen forever amen the spirit of truth glory to god the spirit of truth is gonna be with you forever now it says there's a comma and then it says whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. Because they neither the world neither sees him nor knows him. Now I'm telling us, amen, there's a whole lot in that little verse right there. Glory to God. Amen. And there's no way I can I can I can I can touch it all to do it all justice. But the thing that I want to that want to grab and, and want to want to pitch to us again in our intrapersonal thinking and how we are thinking on this. Listen to what he says again now. Listen, 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 listen. Let the let, let, let listen with the spirit of God. Listen, listen to what he's saying. He says, picking up in 16, the end of 16, that he may abide with you forever. The spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it, it neither sees him nor knows him. So Jesus is saying, listen, I came here. Amen. The word of God says, uh, uh, even when John came on the scene and John began to be the trailblazer for Jesus, John came with the words of repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Amen. And so Jesus is the Messiah. Amen. And so, so listen, when we talk about the, 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 the Old Testament and the New Testament, we know, amen, that the Jews were awaiting the Messiah. Amen. But they didn't think that this little man, they didn't think that the son of Joseph, amen, was, 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 was going to be the one. Amen. They didn't think that Mary and Joseph's baby was. And so, but the, again, when you, but when you think about the whole thing, up. Uh, on to Old Testament, amen, it was, it was them talking, just looking for the Messiah, glory to God, and so we know that the Messiah, amen,
man, even the definition, the word is Christ. Come on, somebody. Amen. And so Jesus is and so what we find is that even when you begin to look at the book of Matthew, is that Matthew is kind of the bridge, amen, and telling the Jews that, hey, listen, this is the Messiah. <laughs> That Jesus is the Messiah. And so he's the one that's kind of compelled them, the, 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 the Jew, amen, to look and say, hey, this is him. This is the Messiah. Amen. The, he represents the kingdom of God. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is that? Amen. And so he is the kingdom. It, it's him. Glory to God. Come on, think on this. And so as we transition, and, and we, because again, we know that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, so now we know that they, that they are similar. Amen. And so I'm saying this to tell us now, listen, when you read this, it says, who the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. What he's telling us is that, hey, I came here, amen, amongst the Jews, amongst the people, and they don't even see me. Why? Because they didn't recognize him as the king. They didn't recognize him as the Messiah. Amen. They, they can't see him and therefore they don't know him. Are we understanding this? I know we may not get it all here. But he's saying this. He says, listen, he said, the spirit of truth. Who is he? Remember, if you go back up just a few verses, amen, up to verse number four. Excuse me, verse number six. He says this. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Glory to God. And so we know that he's talking about himself. And so if we shoot back down and look at this thing, he's saying, listen, he's like the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. But what he's telling them is that I'm here with you so you see me. You see me for who I am. You know, amen, that I am the man of God. And that I am called to be Jesus. Amen. Who I am in doing what I do. Amen. You see me. And because you see me, you know me, but not the world. Jesus, did we catch that? Come on, think on this. Amen. There's a lot. Well, I can, I can. I could really jump in right there. Lord, have mercy. Amen. But again, I, I still, no matter how much I jump in, I still just really couldn't do it justice. Amen. Or what I think it, it deserves. Hallelujah. But it says, because it neither sees him, capital, nor knows him, capital. And so again, it sounds like he's still talking in third person. But listen to this. But you know him. <laughs> He said, but you know him. Why? Because he's right here with you. Jesus. So he ain't talking about nothing in the future. He's talking about you knowing. Why? Because you're right here with him. You, you able to recognize. Because we know that the Holy Spirit ain't king yet. The Holy Spirit, as far as arresting and, and, and them walking in the power, that didn't happen until the upper room. So, the, so, 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 so for the, the power of, 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 of the Holy Spirit to be in operation, we don't see it in operation yet. But he's still saying, you know him. Come on, somebody. So in, in order to know some, you gotta, you gotta be able to spend some time with it. You gotta be able to receive that thing. And so he's telling them that you know him. Come on, somebody. Why? Because he's right here with you. Come on. The, 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 uh, for the kingdom of heaven. He's at hand. Glory to God. He's right here. He said, You, you, you know him. You know him, you know him, you know him. He said, but you know him. For he dwells with you. <laughs> Hallelujah. In other words, because he dwells with you, he hanging out with you. Come on, somebody. Are we hearing this today? Think on this. He said, you know him. Because he dwells with you. You know him. Because y'all you y'all traveling together. You following him. He's your teacher. Amen. He, he, he's the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. You recognize him. You know he is the Messiah. You know he is Jesus the Christ. You know him. Why? Because he's dwelling with you. Hallelujah. He's hanging out with you. He's on the scene with you. He just washed your nasty feet. <laughs> Amen. He just fed you. This is him. He says, you know him. Come on, somebody. Anybody know the Lord today? Hallelujah. Amen. 
Maybe you ain't, maybe I ain't got you excited yet. But listen to what he says now. He says this. He says, but you know him. For he dwells with you. And look what he says next. And will be in you. Jesus. And so what we find is that, hey, before you just hanging out together, amen. In other words, I can look to my, 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 my right or I can look to my left, amen. And depending on where he's standing at and I can see him. I recognize him. Why? Because he's dwelling with me. But he says, but he will be in you. Jesus. <laughs> ah, but he will be in you. And so there, 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 there's a big difference now. See, think on this, think on this, think on this, think on this, believers. Think on this. <clears throat> when I think about, I'm, I'm, I'm looking down, I see my wife got her cup over there. Amen. And that cup is made of glass or ceramic. Amen. But it's hard. You can't just squeeze it and, and shape it. Amen. Because it's hard. And so, but if I pour water in there, amen, the same thing still applies. I can't squeeze it. Amen. Because it's too hard. So I can't do nothing with the water. <laughs> amen. So let's take a plastic bottle. Now this 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 ain't deep, I, I, but I need I need y'all to see this. If we take a plastic bottle, which most of us, for those that drink bottled water, we know it. Most of us know it comes in some type of uh, uh, plastic bottle, whether it's fancy or not. But it's some type of plastic bottle. Glory to God. And so, for that plastic bottle, we can squeeze that bottle some kind of way. Some of them are harder than the others. But we can squeeze that bottle and kind of see the water dance and move a little bit. Amen. Because of how we squeeze that bottle. But listen. If we were to take a Ziploc bag and put some water in it. Trying to hold or maneuver that bag is going to be a challenge. Why? Because you can't. So what am I saying? Well, well, why did you go give that whole big analogy? The analogy is this. Let's go back to the scripture. He says, but you know him for he dwells with you and will be in you and will be in you. The difference is this. Amen. And the point I made with that whole big analogy is that why he's dwelling with us with that old hard cup in the water, in the water inside of it. Amen. Some of us are so hard with the, the living water. Amen. Is not affected because it can't be shaped. It can't be moved. When some of us are like plastic bottles, and, and so when the uh, uh, living water is inside of us, Amen. There's a little bit, Amen. There's a little bit of give and play, Amen. But then there's some of us are like Ziploc bags when we say, God, wherever you go, Amen. I'm just trying to hold on. I'm just trying to, and so it maneuvers like a, a Ziploc bag full of water. Okay, let me make it a little more simple. Listen. The thing I'm trying to do that I'm trying to help us understand is this, is that the cup, the hard cup, the bottle, in the plastic bag, those three are what we call a container. <laughs> Amen. They contain living water. Glory to God. In other words, they contain the helper. They contain, amen, the cover. They contain strength. Like us, amen. They contain these things. But some of us are just hard, like the cup, and God can't really. Some of us are, are like the plastic bottle, and he can do a little bit. But you know, amen, we will do. And then some of us are just all in. God, whatever you're doing, I'm in. Like a Ziploc bag. Okay, let's take a little bit further. The thing that, I, that I'm trying to help us understand is that there's a container, and then there is control. So remember, he says, if you love me, keep my commandments. So if you love me, do what I tell you to do. Glory to God. If you love me, obey me. Amen. Don't be hard like a cup. Amen. Don't be a, 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 a halfway <laughs> like, a, like a jug or like a, a, like, a, a, like a bottle. But be movable. Be pliable. Be flexible. Amen. Like a Ziploc bag. Okay, a little bit further. Now listen, so, 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 so. Uh, containers... Contain. They contain the living water. 
Amen. But the water is in control. Woo! Let's go back to the scripture. For he dwells with you and will be in you. And so when he is in us, he controls us. <laughs> so, 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 it, we are but a container. And we get to decide what kind of container we're going to be. But, but what we must understand is that we don't control nothing. The Holy Ghost, him, he, he is the controller. Amen. We are nothing but a container. A container allows something, amen, to, to, to be held in. Well, matter of fact, you look at the word container, I believe the word is, it stands for inside. <laughs> in other words, it has some stuff inside of it. It's just a container to hold some stuff inside. Amen. But, 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 but to control means to influence or have authority over a thing. And so if we're going to allow him to be God of our life, amen, if we know him, come on, I'm going to go back to read the word again. But you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. So he's going to be in us like a container. But he, we have to know that he has control. He is our influencer. Why? He is our strength. So what he's telling us is without him, we don't even have no strength. Glory to God. And so we got no strength. How are we going to be acting how we want to act? Jesus. But he's our strength. Amen. And so we have, so we as containers, we have this living water. We have the Holy Spirit living, amen, that, that, that went from being outside of us to being inside of us. Glory to God. So now he's inside, inside, inside of us. He's now living with us. And so what I'm trying to tell us again, so if he doesn't have influence and authority, if he doesn't have control, that means we ain't none of his. <laughs> Woo! And if we ain't none of his, ain't no need for him to stay there. And so we can be upset and we can be like, well, I don't think he'll come in and leave out or whatever. No, we can walk away. Why? Because we have control. And so he ain't, be, he ain't, gonna be, he ain't playing second fiddle to us. To our, our feelings, our emotions. Well, I just, I, I love God, but I just feel like, well, you in control. Amen. You're not meant to be in control. You're meant to be a container. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. You're meant to house him. Amen. But he has control. Glory to God. I hope that's making sense to him. Come on. Think on this. Think on this. Amen. Think on this. Each one of us as individuals, think on this. Think on it. Is he control of my life or do I have control of my life? Well, I ain't feeling low. I just feel like I need to do this. I just feel like I need. Okay. Okay. Amen. Glory to God. How does God feel about that? Did you talk to the Lord about? It? Amen. Which way was he was he leading you? Did he lead you to cuss that woman out? Did he lead you? Did he lead you to tell just I just had to tell him how I felt? They just need to know how I felt. Is that how he, he led you? Because he didn't tell Judas how he how he felt. Even though he said, I know one of y'all gone. But he ain't had to say, Judas, is you. You get ready. Judas, I can't stand you. I need you to know I can't stand you. you know? But he watched Judas' feet. <laughs> Still showed him love. Are we hearing this today? He said, I'm teaching you how to be loved. I'm teaching you how to, uh, to, to keep my commandments, to keep my instructions. Amen. You saw the example that I laid before you. And so again, back to the word. 17 again. The spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. And the world can't receive it. Amen. They can't receive him. Why? Because they don't see him. Nor knows him. He said, but us. Those who believe, we know him. Amen. And he's telling them, y'all know me because I'm right here with you. Y'all know me. He says, for he dwells with you and will be in you. And so will be is what's coming to pass. Amen. Will be ain't right now. 
So right now I can turn around and high five Jesus if I was with if I was one of these disciples. Hey Amen. I can turn around and high five. But he's telling us, he said, hey, even for them, he said, in the future, I'm gonna be in you. I ain't gonna just be with you. I ain't gonna just be hanging out next to you. Amen. Think on this. Glory to God. Look what he says after that. I will not leave you orphans. I will not leave you orphans. And so he's still that word I. I will not leave you orphans. And so what are you trying to say, Apostle? I'm trying to tell us that orphans are children or even adults that don't have parents. That their parents are deceased. Amen. Those are orphans. Okay. Now, there's a difference between if some, somebody just, you know, a parent just walked off and left their child and whatever. It may seem like they, they, they. But we know that Jesus was going to die on the cross. <laughs> and he said, but I'm not going to leave you an orphan. And so you say, well, what does that got to do with anything? Because it's talking about fathers or parents leaving their children. The thing I want us to understand is that the original context Amen. Of the scripture, when, when, when you understand as a teacher, as a rabbi, or or or, or e matter of fact, even in the church today, Amen. And some sometimes they get on my nerve with it, Amen. Some people, Amen. But we like to say our spiritual children, Amen. My spiritual mother, my spiritual father, and whatever, Amen. But in, you know, and I'm gonna say some of it is biblical. I'm gonna say some of it. And the reason it's biblical is because whoever was your teacher, whoever was your instructor, was considered your father. Amen. That's why that's that's why Paul Paul began to say, he said, Hey, you have you have there are many fathers. Amen. Many fathers. One teacher. Amen. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Many instructors. Amen. But one father. So let me read, let me, let me, many instruct, you got many instruct, you get instructions from a whole lot of play, but you only got one father. Amen. Many instructors. That's the way it reads. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. <laughs> Amen. So many instructors, one father, glory to God. And so, it's, it's so, so, so the person that was, and so Jesus being uh, uh, over them, he's telling them that, hey, listen. That's why he's saying, I'm not going to leave you as orphans. I'm not going to leave you by yourself. I'm not going to leave you fatherless. I'm not going to leave you parentless. I hope this is making sense to us. Come on, somebody say, think on this. He said, I'm not going to leave you parentless. So he goes on to say, I will come to you. <laughs> he said, I'm not going to leave you orphans. I will come to you. Jesus. I don't know if we quite understand this thing today. Amen. I, 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 and, and, and I keep saying, think on this, think on this, think on this. But I want us to understand what Jesus is really saying here. Amen. Because again, I, he, 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 he says, if, if you love me, keep my commandments. And then he says, I will pray the Father. I'm, I'm going to do this. And then he said, and he will give. Amen. Uh, uh, another, which means a, a second one. Amen. He, he gonna take the blessing. He ain't say he was gonna be better than me. He ain't gonna be, but he's gonna give you another. In other words, like me. Amen. That he may abide with you forever. Amen. Because he's saying, listen. Because he's saying, I'm not gonna be with you always. Glory to God. And then he goes on to say, he said, the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. And so he's saying, hey, the world don't even recognize me as the king of kings and the Lord of, and the Lord of lords. They don't even. He said, but you know me because I'm, I'm right here with you. So you recognize me. He said, for he dwells with you because I'm right here with you. And he says, and will be in you. Oh, maybe we still ain't getting it. See, and so, but he follows that by saying, I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. And so what he's telling them is that, listen, I am leaving here. And although I mentioned the word helper, although I mentioned the word comforter, although I mentioned the word, you know, these words, he's saying, I am the one that's coming back. <laughs> and so we like to say, well, I'm waiting on the Holy Spirit. I'm waiting, but I'm telling us it is Jesus. It is him. That's why we say in Jesus' name. That's why we do what we do. Amen. Because it's him. Glory to God. He said, I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. I'm going to come back to you. 
It's me. I'm coming back. I'm coming back in what we call the, the, the Holy Spirit. I get it. But the thing I'm trying to help us to understand is that notice in just these little few verses, he talks about the Father, he talks about himself, and he talks about the Holy Spirit. Why? Because he's trying to tell us that these three are one. Hallelujah. Yeah, they have some separate functions to do, but he said, but even when the Holy Spirit, when, when the Holy Spirit comes upon us and begins to live in our life, amen, he, it, it be the influence and the control of, of our life, amen, it is Jesus. And that's why he can say what he's saying, and the Father does, amen. That's why he can say and do, and he knows that it is so. Glory to God. Because he don't do what he want to do. Amen. These three are one. They are already in unison. They are already in agreement. Glory to God. And we get the benefits of it. Hallelujah somebody. Amen. And so therefore if I'm going to live my life. Amen. And do the things I want to do. And think I'm in Christ. But I, I, I still got a bad case of the I can't help it. I'm still just all over. It lets me know. Glory to God. That I am a trying to control. The Holy Ghost. That I'm trying to control Jesus. That I, 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 I ain't going to just let him be the authority or be the controller of my life. And that's why we can come in and we say, well, God, I love you. God, I, I want to serve you with everything. And we begin to come in and run and we're, 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 we're fighting a good fight of faith. And all of a sudden, man, God begins to elevate us and stuff is happening all around us and stuff is good. And all of a sudden we get to, as the, as the, as the old folks say, you start smelling yourself. <laughs> you start smelling yourself. You see how God, you're able to speak a word and God move, you're able to do. And all the, you start smelling yourself and then you think, well, it's not, oh, okay, well, this power, I got the I got the power, amen. I'm able to do this and I'm able to do that. And so now you're trying to control and whatever. And you, and we don't understand that what was supposed to be with us forever <laughs> has now moved to the side. And turned us over to a reprobate mind. Where we doing whatever we want to do. Where we don't. And so what I'm telling us is again. He, he said I'm, I'm, I'm be with you forever. Amen. But the thing is. And we, what we have to remember is he still ain't going to stop loving us. Because he says even if you make your bed in hell. <laughs> I'm there. Amen. For God so loved the world. He, he didn't stop loving. Amen. But where we going. And where we end up. Is by our choice. Amen. Whether we chose to be a container or a controller. And so a controller says, I'm going to love me before I love my neighbor. A controller says, amen, uh, me first. <laughs> I'm my foe and no more. Amen. But for the one that's a container that carries this river of living water. Amen. Who says, wherever you flow. God, wherever you go, I'm there. However you do it, hey, hey man, like, like the Ziploc bag, whichever way the water go, I'm going to. Hallelujah, somebody. Hey man, any Ziploc bags out there? Hey man, that's my desire. God, firm me. Don't, don't let me be firm. Let me be movable like that Ziploc bag. Wherever you want to go, I move with you. Hallelujah. Hey man, I, ain't, I, I don't want to control you. Hallelujah. Hey man, think on this. Think on this. Think on this. Amen. And so, uh, again, if you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father. I will mediate for you. Amen. And he will give you another helper. Glory to God. Amen. Another helper. Amen. Just like me. Amen. In other words, he may even look like me. <laughs> Amen. He's going to act like me. Glory to God. Why? Why? Because it's another helper. Amen. It's another, another like me. Glory to God. And so, again, what, what am I telling us? That we are to act like him. <laughs> Amen. That's why, because if we keep his commandments, that means we're acting like him. Amen. That means we're doing what he called us to do. Glory to God. And so we're acting like him, just like the helper is going to act. Like him. Glory to God. That's why it's another helper. He goes on to say that he may abide with you forever. And so when the Spirit of God comes upon him, it is there, amen, for us, the rest of our life, for those that choose to walk in this thing. Hallelujah. Amen. For the rest of forever. But we can walk away. Or we can try to be in control. And when we try to be in control, we muzzle. Amen. 
Glory to God. He said, the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know it, for he dwells with you and will be in you. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Will be in you. Glory to God. See, in me. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. And so he said, hey, I'm coming. Yeah, I got to leave here, but I'm coming back. Amen. I'm, I'm going to be with you. Amen. I'm going to guide you the same way I've been strengthening you, disciples, the same way I've been teaching you to, uh, 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 to go. Therefore, amen, I, I, I'm going to be with you. That's why he, even there, he said, even to the ends of the earth, I'm going to be. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Yeah, he said, um, he said it's finished. Amen. The work, amen, that he came here to do in the physical, amen, it is finished. But now I'm going to operate through you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to move through you. So yeah, it's finished. Amen. In the natural, a glow cold. I'm hearing this today. Think on this. I don't mean to preach angry, <laughs> but I do mean to preach with passion or teach with passion. Hallelujah. Amen. And so think on this. Think on this, that he's with us. The Lord God Almighty, the Messiah, the Christ, that he wants to take up residence in this whole body. Know ye that your body is the temple of God. And so he's even calling the, his temple. And so he's going to live. He, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come to you. The Holy Spirit, that thing that we love so much. Amen. Amen. We like to talk about the Holy Ghost. Amen. And we should. But I'm telling us, amen. And when, we cut, when you cut through all the fat, we're talking about Jesus. <laughs> we're talking about Jesus. Glory to God. We're talking about Jesus. Amen. And so as we talk about him, just know he wants to have control of our life. He is the authority. He is, amen, the influencer in our life. We got to think on this. We got to think on it. We don't get to live how we want to live. We don't get to act crazy because other people act crazy. Amen. We don't get, we, no, we don't get caught up in all the, we allow the Lord. Amen. For the, the scripture tells us, for as many as are led by the spirit of God, these are the sons of God. And so if we're not led, if we're not controlled, if we're not influenced, amen, by the spirit of God, that's why the spirit of God, amen, amen, God, <laughs> if we're not controlled by God, if we're not led by God and we're just doing what we want to do, amen, then we're not his sons. There are so many in the body of Christ, how we like to say, well, everybody, I, they God's children. They're my God's children. You can't say that because they're my God's children. That's not true. They may be God's creation, but they ain't God's children because his children do what he say do. His children look like him. Come on, somebody. Amen. His children oh, uh, 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 love him and keep his commandments. That, that's what his children do. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, they told me in, in the days of old, amen, we, <laughs> amen, that there was some fathers that went to court and the judge say, you know, say, ain't my child, judge say, feed them, they'll look like you. <laughs> amen. That's, and so what I'm telling us is that the Lord feeds us, those that belong to the Lord, amen, as he feeds us, we look like him. Hallelujah. We look like him. We act like him. We govern ourselves like him. Amen. We're led of him. In other words, we are but a container. A container. Amen. We are not in control. God is. The Spirit leads us. We operate according to the Spirit. Not according to our family name. Not according to the way I'm just built this way. No. We govern ourselves as the Lord leads. Amen. I need to be able to adapt. I need to be flexible. Hallelujah. Yeah, I got my cultural experiences. Yeah, I have the way I was brought up. And sometimes it's hard to put them things away when you're dealing with stuff. Amen. But when the Holy Ghost come upon you, amen, you'd be like, hey, what I think, what I feel don't mean nothing. Amen. I'm here to minister to you. And so if that means I got to humble myself and shut my mouth and allow you, so be it. But my experiences tell me that it's like this and it needs to be like that. But you're not in control. Your experiences is not what, how you was, no, your life in Christ. Yeah, he used some of the things that we went through. Amen. For his glory. Yeah, he, he able to do that, but not for everything. 
God is in control, y'all. Come on, think on this. I love us. Amen. I love you. I really, 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 I'm telling you, this thing was dear to me today. Amen. And I know I was a little jovial, if you will, but man, I'm telling you, I love the Lord and I love us. Amen. I so desire, amen, that we would receive this word and begin to walk in this thing, man, but to begin to really process and think on this thing and understanding that, hey, my love life. Matter of fact, he told his disciples, he said, hey, you know, the world will know that you are my disciples by the love that you have one for another. Amen. By the love that you have for each other. Amen. And so again, and so we have to show love, man. We have to show love. And when we show love, love means, you know, again, I was talking earlier about if you love me, do this. If you love in our, in our relationships, if you love me, you'll be acting like this. And so it's true. Amen. But it's not for us to, to manipulate if you love me. But he's just saying, if you love, just keep my commandments. Do what I tell you to do. If, if you really love, do what I tell you to do. Do what I tell you. Hallelujah. And so again, I love my wife. Amen. But before coming to Christ, amen, I did what I thought <laughs> love looked like. Amen. And I messed up a whole lot. Years of mess ups. Glory to God. But when I came to know love and loving Christ, mm -hmm. Christ began to show me how to love my wife. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm telling us is you if, if by allowing him to control it, <laughs> instead of me trying to figure it out, allowing him to control it. It works. Mm -hmm. Why? Because now I'm just obeying and doing what he told me to do. Amen. God bless you. Once again, this is Apostle Chauncey Craig of Discipling Ministries. The place where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. God bless you. Until the next time. Amen. Peace.